And we all know using sunscreen can help prevent skin cancer and sunburns, but that's not all. We'll talk to a doctor in studio about how it can keep you looking younger when we come back. Welcome back. The next time you head outdoors for some summer fun, think about your skin first. To beat the Texas heat, you also need to protect yourself from those harmful UV rays. Joining us today is Dr. Jennifer Walden, a cosmetic surgeon here in Austin, to talk about the benefits of sunscreen, which go beyond protecting against sunburn. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Now, you say um, there was this article in the New York Times that did a study on sunscreen year-round. Right, and basically it was a study out of Australia that looked at 903 men and women under the age of 55, so mm -hmm. relatively young. Half were assigned to use sunscreen regularly outside every couple of hours after being in the water. Half were told to use it at their own discretion. Okay. The researchers took impressions of the left hand before and then after the study, which was four and a half years later, okay. those who used sunscreen regularly showed mm -hmm. no signs of skin aging. Hmm. And so it actually helps prevent skin aging as well as skin cancer. And the significance of this was that if we can appeal to patients' vanity, i.e., you're going to look better if you use sunscreen, right. and we can reduce the rate of skin cancers, which is the most common type of cancer. And the sunscreen they used in the study was SPF 15. So I wanted to ask, is there a certain type of sunscreen or level of sunscreen that you recommend? Yeah, the FDA has new guidelines on this, and it's very important. It has to be SPF 15 or higher to help prevent skin aging aging and skin cancer. Okay. Um, basically, it has to be broad spectrum, including mm -hmm. protection from harmful UVA rays and mm -hmm. UVB rays, which both can lead to skin cancers. And that you should see on the labeling of the sunscreen bottle. And those are new regulations by the FDA. So it's important to buy the right sunscreen, not just a moisturizer or a makeup with a small hint of sunscreen in it. We need right. at least 15 or higher, and 30 or higher is very good too. Now, how often should you use sunscreen? Should it uh, be focused on your face or other parts of the body? Any sun exposed areas and some light clothing UV rays can go through and so I mean obviously staying indoors a wide brim hat sunglasses but applying it to face neck hands ears shoulders is very important and often reapplying it every couple of hours so mm -hmm. go putting it on underneath your makeup and mm -hmm. then after being in the pool after being outside even after lunch um, going back into work is mm -hmm. important. We, we've kind of gone through this era where uh, you know the tanner you are the better it is and now it's the pendulum is kind of shifting back to a more, um, I guess, moderation factor. Right. I mean, and obviously we can, there are a lot of great bronzers on the market. Mm -hmm. Spray tanning is very popular now. Mm -hmm. um, but doctors often are encouraging patients to go with their own glow. I mean, your natural skin tone is healthy and um, tanning and burning in the sun is kind of a thing of the past because of the skin cancer risk. Yeah, certainly. And we all want to look a little younger. Absolutely. So. <laughs> That's so, the best way. Uh, so good tips on sunscreen for this summer. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks.